Hello friends and welcome to this new video. So the iPhone was as nice to send me this LED light strip in order to test, but as always I give my honest opinion. So first let's see the box, then do the unboxing, installation and the configuration of the application. And if you want to skip to a chapter of your choice, you can skip directly down in the timeline. So let's see, so the box is a little bit damaged due to the shipping, but that's no problem. Here you can see it's an Apple HomeKit device only. Privacy, as always, is a big issue for Eve. There's a full spectrum, a triple diode technology. That means that you have an RGB diode, you have a warm white diode and a bright white diode. And it should be one of the brightest LED strip available for Apple HomeKit. It's extendable up to 10 meters or 32.8 feet and you can order those extensions only at EVE Home. And you don't really need a bridge in order to use this LED light. It connects through Wi-Fi, you can see. That means if you don't have a HomePod or Apple TV yet, you can still use this LED light, but of course you don't can use any automations. You can use your iPhone or iPad though to control your LED light. With HomeKit, you can use automations, create scenes, and whatsoever. And it has adaptive lighting, so that means that the intensity of your light and the color of the light will change during the day accordingly to the sun. So let's see what's in the box. The same packaging as always with a nice little design, your home kit code, the LED strip itself, so it is two meters. It is nice coating. You just heard my automation with my Eve motion detector. In my mailbox I have some mail. Works really nice though. You can see that video over here. So you can see you can cut the light strip as well on the desired length. I guess it's every 30 centimeters. So you can really well see triple diode system. There's some tape on the back as all well, LED strips. Then we have the little control box with the home kit code on it. Tape in order to attach it if you want. And there is the power plug. And the warranty cards. So this LED strip isn't the cheapest one. It costs 80 euros, but it is one of the brightest on the market. And you have the true colors and adaptive lighting. You could also use a simple LED strip with a HomeKit enabled power socket, but I tried it in one of my rooms and you can set the color with HomeKit and for some reason the LED strip always turns red and you have to reset the color manually with the controller. So it works, but it doesn't work as nice as a HomeKit enabled LED strip. So the idea is to install the LED strip on the back of this table, this way the wall will light up nicely behind this little Asiatic setup. So I'm going to remove the table from the wall, decrease the back side of the table and then stick my LED strip on top of it. And I measured the size. Okay. 
that means that I have to cut it right here. I've set up different automations and scenes that is really easy to do within the HomeKit app itself. You can define per scene and automation the brightness and the color of the LED strip. So I have different automations to turn off the strip automatically when I leave home, to turn the strip back on when I arrive at home. So for the strip itself, I noticed that the double-sided tape isn't that strong, so sometimes you have to reapply the strip a little bit you can easily solve this problem by using double-sided tape of your own i use the strip at the back of the table to have a slight lightning effect against the wall above and beneath the table but you could also choose to use a little view profile and stick the LED strip on top of it. This way, the LED strip will shine all the way to the ceiling. So I've been using this LED strip for some time now. It is really nice. The colors are bright, really bright. Adaptive lighting that I use right now is really cool. So easy to use, high quality. I know, of course, that there are other LED strips available that are cheaper than this one, but I also read that the colors aren't that great and it doesn't always show the color that you select. I never experienced this problem on this. Uh, the colors are really nice. The warm white is really warm. The bright light is really bright. So I think it is worth every penny. So let me know in the comments what you think about this LED strip. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.